Hello guys, good morning, great to see ya, let's play some more control light, and I hope, well this time I'm going to make less mistakes, but we will see, we'll see for sure. So, first game is already starting up. Mm -hmm. And our opponent plays Relic War, it seems. Hmm. Relic War. This could be a problem. I'm not quite sure if Heal is the right thing against Relic War. We are not going to need the Dearly Departed. We are not going to need Lips or Sealed or Sanjur. I think... Relic War is really a problem because we have so many cards that are just meant to deal with his creatures. Hmm. So I think this is really an unfavorable matchup. The only good thing here is our Relic Removal right in our starting hand. But otherwise, poor. Otherwise, this is pretty bad. Take a look. Crumbled Luta and Wolf Cult Vanguard. Hmm. Gem Fused Strike, okay. That doesn't really matter. Rairu! Welcome back! Good morning! Great to see ya! I guess we just play Aiko, and when he can get her down, we take her back with Radiant Embolma. I think this is quite a good plan. How many relics is he playing? He plays the Dragon Fang twice and Blade of Sticks once. So we just need to finish all his relics. I guess. So we played her already once. We can play her twice. Mm. And then we need we need our three mana cards to get her for a, a third time. I forgot the name of the card. Mobilized. He's getting. Okay, let's go with Tidal Prayer. Nah, no, that's not one of those cards we want. Guess I'll take you, course. And then we just hit the face, I guess. Hmm. Strange. When I'm in front of that purple card, my green screen starts flickering, but when I'm not in front of the purple card, it's all right. Strange. Very strange. <laughs> so what is he going to do? going to trade Embalma off, okay. So, he could finish him with Fracture, yeah. Alright. The dearly departed. I guess we do that. And Crumbut Luta, and then we transform her so he cannot get it back.
mobilized again. Or well, I'm afraid he might might pull off too much damage in one turn. It is time. Hmm, if he's preparing well. Hmm. We could play Zariel. But we are going to overdraw one. Yeah, this is a good idea, I guess. Okay, let's see. Retaliation. So Theriel is finished. Dragon Fang, there he is. My hand is full. And is full. Oh no, and his capable duty is gone. Fuck. So we finish his Dragon Fang and we increase his spells. He just got... Ouch. Just got the Blade of Sticks left. My turn. Let's increase his belt again. So unfortunate that we have overdrawn the inescapable duty. Exactly the card we need. Got another savage strike, okay. Ouch. Hi, can I ask for your zombie code deck code? Yeah, sure. I got a new deck, but I'm having trouble using Kyra because my creatures are all high cost. Okay, I see. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to get it for you. Give me a second. Guess we're going to play Jail Beast and... I don't know, maybe CERN. So, my zombie list. I have actually, I have different zombie lists, but the most recent one I played is this one. There are quite a few sheep um, cards in there, where then you can pull off. Um, Kyra, pretty, pretty good, I guess. Deuteria, Mana Shard Mage, Netherborn Binder and Skeletal Hoplite are just one mana. Then you have Wicked Fee and Voracuous Fiend for two mana. And Voracuous Fiend is also leaving a zombie behind, which is Nether. And Wicked Fee is bringing another Nether with it. Oh, he's getting the Nightleaf Trapper, too bad. Hmm, I'm afraid we are going to die. Hey, Fearless, welcome back. You're welcome, Rairu, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm afraid he's going just to finish us next turn. He got nine mana with the pip. Yeah, fuck. I fucked it up when I obliterated my my relic remover. Shit. There's no way. 
Oh, that's so sad. Damn it. We are dead. The sun sets, the light fades. Day or night, war endures. 32. Oh, damn it. It was so unfortunate. Okay, but that's it. It's really like we had 17 cards left in the deck. And the one we overdraw is the one we needed, actually. So I guess Thariel was a bad idea. Hmm. Damn it. So... This one is playing Ramp Magic. Guess we're going to use heal anyway. Dearly departed, we are probably going to need. Mm, Yukos and Eclipse is helpful against his one drops. Demogorgon is too big, I guess. Cern maybe two. Otak for sure. Best of luck. May the light guide your path. Mm. I guess we just pass. He's playing one Lightning Talisman, so Ico is not even too bad. He's playing this dude. Okay, I don't really mind. Hey, Main McFly, welcome back. And good to see ya. I guess we just heal for now. Crystal Sia Acolyte. Hmm. Let's finish him to draw. When he's bumping into her, she's going to die, but we still draw, I guess. Hmm. Leonard, welcome back. Good morning. Another Crystal Sea Ecolite. He's ramping way too fast. Holy crap, next turn he's at 7 mana already. This is crazy. Wow. Wow. White the Shadow, thank you so much for your raid. Thank you. Welcome, raiders. Great to see you all. I hope we can do a decent weekend ranked. Welcome guys. Enjoy the stream. We are playing Control Light today. And I hope it's going to be alright. I'm not that experienced with the deck yet. But I try my best. Dude Control, Davos, welcome back. It is time. So, let's finish his relic. I guess that's a good idea. And then we might just... Play Pyramide Warden and hit the face, huh? I hope it was not too foolish to... Use the pip now already. We'll see. We need something to get rid of or dearly departed for sure. Oh, he got Ember Oni. Holy crap. That guy was not on my watch. Hmm. So I guess we gotta finish Ember Oni. But what else? Vangelov, good morning. Great to see ya. 
Dearly departed would work with Mary Cadmos, but we need eight mana for that. This is taking quite a while. I, I'm afraid he's pulling off a Randion way before that. Hmm. Oh, Gleam is good, but I'm afraid he's going to get Gleam now. Okay, he's going to draw now, so he probably is not having a Randy on yet. Uh huh. That's a lot draw. But. Hmm. He, if he got a Randy on, he's not mana searched yet. So I guess we're going to get Gleam. We need to banish some face spell, I guess. Hmm. But what else? All his one drops are a huge pain. I don't know. I'm afraid of Unbound Flames, actually, too. These guys feel like a waste, but I guess we need some space in our hand. Hmm. Hard to say. This is all right. We definitely need Light Slavey. He's going for face. It smells like Unbound Flames. He's using 7 mana now? Okay. So if he's using the Pip now, we can be sure that he got a Randy on, I guess. Yeah, okay. He's playing this one. So it's pretty likely that he got a Randy on. Yeah. He's going to finish Dearly Departed, but then he gets a Randy on back without mana search. And next turn, you gotta search it again. Hope you have a great day and the stream, Constantino. I'm off to bed. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for your rate again, man. Thank you. And I hope you are going to have a great day, too. Thank you, man. Have a nice rest. So now... He needs to mana search him next turn again. I guess we're going to use Hortak here. Gain frontline and leech. Oh, he cannot mana search him yet because of the pip. Ah, that's good. He's getting Ogre Archer. Form of power. Okay, and then he pings it. Hmm. It's at 16. Okay. Hmm. Guess we play Tidal Prayer. Lips are sealed, Divine Judgment and Senjur. I guess at this point Senjur is alright. Going to heal. Trade this guy off and... Oh, we might just play Enraged Ally. He's going to be finished for sure. I guess it's okay. I don't really want to play Gleam yet. 
He's for sure now trying to mana search Arendion again. And we are going to use next turn dearly departed with Mary Catmoss. Oh, unbound flames in our face. And then probably pinging our face, huh? No safeguard. Okay. Let's grab a Randy on. And we place that on top of our deck. Nice. Now we need to make sure that we heal a lot. He can still play like Unbound Flames and how's the other spell called? Hmm, I forgot about it. Foam Breath. Foam Breath he can play too. Let's play Tidal Prayer. Light Slavey, Divine Judgment. Guess in this case I go for Light Slavey. Play Yukos in Eclipse to finish Demetrios. And we are going to take his Abyss Watcher. We can hit the face. We can heal. Wow! Marcellius! Marcellius? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, man, but thank you so much for following! Welcome on board! Great to meet you, my friend. I guess we play Gleam to get rid of his Unbound Flames. It would be good to get his Worm Breath too, but I guess Unbound Flames is also dangerous. Especially when we have a little board. Your thoughts on Zuvor? Um, I think Zuvor is quite a good deck. If you want a decent win rate in Mythic. It might not be the best deck to climb the ladder. But overall, I think Zuvor is pretty powerful. Let's play Radiant Embalmer and hope we are going to survive the next turn. We're going to heal. What do you think about Zuvo? I think if you play it correctly, it's no problem to have like 55 or 60% win rate all the time. Astric Implosion. Ouch. And Tracking Bolt. Oh, I'm afraid he can finish us next turn with Worm Breath twice. Uh-oh. I'd actually like to play Hawthark. Do we have any heal left in our deck? We could grab with that. No, I guess not. Hmm. Should have taken maybe CERN instead of Hawthark. I'd heal face at HPK. Yeah. For sure we do that. But I'm quite sure we are dead since he got Worm Breath twice. Okay, Pyric Knowledge. Okay, yeah, that too. Now he's going to finish us. And that again, I guess. Ah, too bad. Too bad. And I think... Really, I lose most of the games due to... My mistakes. I really have to... Practice Control Light, I guess. Really, most of the games feel pretty winnable. 
And most of the time I also know after the game what I should have done different. All right, next opponent is Atlantean Magic. I haven't played much against Atlanteans with that deck yet. It could be that Atlanteans are too fast for us, but we'll see. Let's shuffle Radiant Embalmer in and Divine Judgment for sure. Hermite Warden and two Highborn Knights. Maybe one Highborn Knight is enough. We are going first. I guess we don't want to waste our pip here. This guy. Hmm. Hmm. What are we going to do about that? So I guess Yukos and Eclipse is also pretty helpful in this matchup when I see that guy and when I think about Endertau's Draka and so on. Another one. And Excavations Analyst. Fair's fair. Hmm. Not sure if we already want a Senjur here. If we don't, Pyramid Warden is going to die and he'll get Scuttler Sentry back or maybe her even. So I guess we're going to do it. We might have the chance now to trade another creature off and heal up Pyramid Warden again. To leave him sticking to the board one more turn. Oh, this is not good. So we cannot finish him. We got so many so big cards, this is quite unfortunate. Land Raptor just to pop the ward? Hmm. Isn't that strange? Okay, he's trading him off, but that was a mistake, huh? He could have traded it off like that anyway, even without popping the board. So he could have done two damage here. It's confusing. Another Raptor. Another Demogorgon. Oh man. Four sevens, yeah, it's so unfortunate. We are just playing five cards at seven mana, I guess. Or, or six, maybe, I'm not quite sure, I guess. We play Demogorgon twice, Teriel, Lysander's Mercy once, and Hortak. That's our five one drops, and I'm not mistaken. Maybe Lysander's Mercy a second time, I'm not sure about that, though. 
Mm, it's really a pain. If he's trading him off and we draw Yukos in Eclipse, we are fine though. Or maybe not. <laughs> He's probably finding Francesca now, if we are unlucky. How curious. Gotta survive two more turns. Then we can pull all our crazy shit off. We probably gotta start with Lysander's Mercy if we survive that long. Because he can wake them up with Walker's discovery. Otis! Good morning! Welcome back! Or maybe not, he's taking the heal. Always great to see you, Otis. Enduring Archive. So he can do... 4, 8... 13... 17 damage next turn, but we can play Lips or Sealed, so it's not going to be that much. It's just 8. Mm. And he's having not enough favor to get Valka's Discovery. But... I think Demogorgon might not be a good idea anyway because it, it'll probably just pop war uh, protection I guess instead of healing napped im chat oh Doro schön dich zu sehen guten morgen ja er hat nicht viele handkarten wir schaffen sie alle in sein deck uh, confusing the languages again. We are shuffling all his cards in his deck. That's a great payoff. Now we need to heal soon with our Demogorgons. If we can. Or next turn maybe we just start with the Blade of Fight plane depending on what else he's going to play. Ah, during Archive. Hmm. In this case, I guess we gotta play Demo Gorgon. GG! Oh no. He got Francesca and a one drop, huh? Yeah, two one drops. Oh fuck. That's not my day, huh? I was so sure we are going to get that. Hmm. Hmm. A newbie in death. This should be all right. We got a lot of cards that are making him problems like Light, Slavy and Yukos and Eclipse. When we get those, we are fine. Guess we won't need the Dearly Departed. Ah, there's Yukos already. Pyramid Warden, Highborn Knight. Hmm. I guess I keep it. Good luck. Raving Necromancer. Let's start with Tidal Prayer. 
Yeah, let's get Light Slavey. This is going to fuck him up hard. Oha, you cost twice. Guess we play it once already. Quite sure. I guess we just play Pyramid Warden. Your screams will echo in the void. Ability summon a one mana Anubian from your void. Hmm. But he needs Anubians in his void to do that. Let's grab Nightleaf Trapper. That's always great against that. He's playing one Skull Scepter, so we might need it. And we're going to take his Priestess with Light Slavey. GG! Oh, finally. We broke. Serious. Let's go. So, our next opponent is death again. A newbie in death again, so this should be alright. Hey, Tsurabi, good morning. Welcome back. Yeah, we shuffle Hortak in, and I guess the rest's already good. With Tidal Prayer, we can look for Light Slavey again. Yukos and Eclipse is nice. Highborn Knight, it's okay. We're going second. So, he's starting with a Vile Reaver, that's strange. Yeah, we take Light Slavey for sure. Why is this song so much more silent than the other one? Hmm. I don't get it. Okay, yeah, I guess we just go with Pyramide Warden. He's playing Aiko. Ooh. That's kinda unexpected. Not bad, he can finish off the Pyramide Warden and even pop the protection of the Highborn Knight. Pretty good. And a Priestess. Mm -hmm. Not bad, he's getting a Vile Reaver back for sure. 
Ouch. And we cannot even finish his Ico. Fuck. I guess last turn I should have bumped into her with the Pyramid Warden. I'm not quite sure about it. There is no escaping death. Soon you will understand. Forgive me. But it's good that we got rid of one priestess already. Hmm. Can finish off the Pyramid Warden and the Highborn Knight now. Damn it. So he can really keep his Ico for way too long. He can also finish her when he gets one of those back. I guess I fucked it up. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Shit. We really have no way to deal with Ico. That's a huge problem. Sandra is not helping because she can just use her ability. Let's get Gleam. She's also too strong for the blade still. Hmm. Another priestess. So I guess we need Blade of Fight Plane here to finish her and the Gleam to banish. Hmm. Dearly departed. Come on, we need to draw something helpful. Mary Catmoss. I think Mary Catmos is going to be good. Ah, Blight Bomb though. Okay, he just got one card left. He's playing Blade of Fight, uh, March of Fight Plane. Oh. Divine Judgment. Hmm, this is not too easy. I really would like to... ...get rid of both, but I don't know how. He can't get back Aiko because of Soulless. Chamber Oop, yeah, yeah, I know. Welcome back, by the way. Uh, no, welcome anyway. Thank you for following, thank you so much. But we also have just 18 life left. And on the other hand, we have no way to, to finish them off easily. Aiko can always kill... Uh, guess we, we gotta put Aiko back on the top of his deck. But it's... Not really... Ah, good. I like the way you 
Yeah, otherwise, he's going to finish any creature we play just with, with Aiko. Hmm. Thank you so much for following. I highly appreciate your support. Welcome on board. Since a long time, I play again Control Light, and it's really... A good deck, I think. Ichukui. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry when I butcher that. But thank you so much for following. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. How are we going to do it? Hmm... I guess I bump into her. Right? That is not possible. No. That is not I don't know. Chuck you! Chuck you, okay. Alright, I keep it in mind. Thank you so much for following. I don't know, I don't know. I think we really want to get rid of both, but we cannot at the same time. Except if we leave Martyr in the void. Hmm. Or we just do it like this for now and just ignore her. I think it might be alright like that. Even though he can get something back with her, we can give her order again. Hmm. And he's low on resources. I think it should be all right. Untold greed. I'm sorry. You earned your rest. So since we have quite some new people around here in the stream. Make sure you join the giveaway if you want a Crystal Rain in Shadow. As soon as we reach a 1070 followers, I'm going to give away that Crystal Rain I forged with my own hands. I would be quite happy. Um, yeah, if you join the giveaway. I guess we're going to trade this one off. And that one too. And let's give some more order to the Martyr. Going to draw a lot. Inescapable duty and tidal prayer. Okay, with inescapable duty, we could get light. No, we couldn't get light slave. We can just get creatures with that. Gleam Weaver, for example. Actually. He cannot do too much. Oh, we could also use that empowered next turn. So let's go tidal prayer. Light Slavy and Yukos. This is so crazy. Against his deck. So, if you want to join the giveaway, type exclamation mark enter or exclamation mark ticket in the Twitch chat. The first ticket is always for free. And you can get up to 10 tickets for the giveaway. And the additional tickets you can get by spending beards. And those beards you can get just by watching the stream. Yeah, chamber oop. That's right. Just like that. So his martyr is going to die. My turn. Chuck you also joining the giveaway. Awesome. So I guess we trade this one here off. So Martyr is popping up. He's getting nothing. 
And then we can just throw our Demogorgon to the board. I think it's game over for our opponent here. GG. Yeah, Anubians is really quite a good matchup for us because mm, we have really so many cards to, to get rid of her. I was watching ads, didn't hear about it. About the giveaway? You mean? So, I'm doing, in general, a giveaway every 10 followers. This time it's Crystal Rain. As soon as we reach um, 1,070 followers. And yeah, you can get tickets for the giveaway by typing exclamation mark enter or exclamation mark giveaway into the Twitch chat. And you can also get additional tickets. The first one is always for free. And every ticket that you get later after the first one is 20 beards. And those beards you just earn by watching the stream. So when we reach 1070 we are going to give away the crystal rain. And then I also have some more shadow core cards minted for the next giveaway. I guess we keep that actually, because with Tidal Prayer it's pretty likely we can search Yukos and Eclipse and Light Slavey. Yeah, you gotta... I guess you gotta watch quite a while to have enough beards for an additional ticket. You can also check um, your points, your beards by exclamation mark points in the chat, then you see how many you have. And you can also um, type exclamation mark giveaway to get a link to the giveaway page um, that explains everything in detail. So, we could play Yukos and Eclipse already, but I think that might be too early. I think we just go for Tidal Prayer. Senjur and Inescapable Duty. Hmm. I'm not really sure about that. I guess we need to get rid of his bomb dragons with Yukos and Eclipse. But he's not playing anymore. He knows what we are up to. Hmm. I like the way you scream. Glynn. I guess we pull Glynn just back to the top of his deck. Necroceptor, oh. This is quite strong. Hmm, what are we going to do here? Guess I'll hit the face and play you course. It might not be ideal.
And then we are going to heal and we play Lootable Corpse. So, we could need Aiko or any other relic removal would be nice. This guy. Mm hmm. I guess it's time for Senjur. Maybe we first draw. Come on, give us something nice. Divine Judgment. I like that. I guess we play Senjur now. And we pip into Blade of Fight playing. Ay, cool. Yeah. So next turn we can get rid of Glyn and also we can get rid of Necroceptor. That's quite cool. And then it's not long and we are going to be at 7 mana for our Demogorgons to heal a lot. So I guess it's going to be alright. Blackfire Flatling, yeah, he's a problem for sure. But it is going to be alright, I guess. Hopefully. Hmm. So this one is going to die my uh, to kill my small one. Ah. We got now eight cards in our hand. Hmm. This guy is going to burn anyway, so I guess we don't need to waste our Divine Judgment here. We can just play CERN. Inquisitor Informant. We definitely gotta play another card though. Chrissy, good morning! Great to see ya! Yeah! Davos, welcome back. Hello. Oh, I've seen you before today, I guess. I guess you're greeting Chrissy, huh? Oh, I'm not sure, but we have to play something. I don't know why my bathrobe is having such problems with the green screen in front of the cards. Hmm. Oh, he can push a lot of damage with his small dragons. Duty calls. Hmm. What are we going to do here? Best Anubians, you change name. Oh, uh -huh. interesting. I guess I want to play Aiko, I want to play Demogorgon, I want to play Lips Are Sealed. I really don't know. Um. Yep, it has been a while since I've been on here. Ah. I see. Cool that you are back. I guess we might just finish the zombie for now and play lips are sealed and we get rid of the black fire flatling and we hope we survive that now. I hear you're afraid of the dark. <laughs> Fu uncle, hey, good to see you, man. Thank you so much. I hope you're going to have a great weekend rank too, man. Great to see you in here. Das klingt gut, Doro. Hey, Bully, welcome back. No, we didn't. We were playing the first 10 games already yesterday. That would be crazy with control light. 
I'm afraid we are probably dead. What next? Let's see. Oh, that was a good hit. I didn't see your stream at all. Yeah, I guess yesterday was an unusual time. Uh-oh, Brimstone. We're going down to five. Hmm. <laughs> He got five mana left, but he's taking too much time. If he could kill us, we would already be dead, I guess. He could do one more damage with Swashbuckler. I'm sorry. You earned your rest. So he had already one Ragnarok. One Dangerous Ritual and two Brimstones. Canopic. Oh yeah, fuck, we are dead. I thought when he takes so much time, it'll be all right. Wait, what? One flatling and ah, the the fly is removed. Okay, so he can do just three. So if we are lucky, it is going to be all right. And I guess we are going to get special buckler here. To heal a little more with Demogorgons to make sure they are not just pinging the one drops. Ah, okay. We are at nine again. Mm-hmm. Canopic Horda again. And he got two mana left. I think he cannot finish us. He can! Fuck! It's not our day, I guess. It's not our day. Shut the chuck up. A bad Chucky we have seen already today before. No, no. Yeah. Still that way on Discord. I see, I see. Bucks Unchained. This is a promising name. Oh, he's playing Zubo, okay. Wasn't it Chakyu from Starter Deck Tournament? Or STH? What is what is STH? The legend that hosts free to play tourney. Ah, cool. Hmm. I think this hand is not too bad against Zubo. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did the starter deck tournaments. Cool. Okay, he's starting with two Vanguard X women. Hmm. We could play Inquisitor Informant, but then he's probably just using his Enrage and trade him off. He'll probably flood the board more next turn. So we play a Yukos, I guess. Come on, give us another one drop. No? Sad. If I may. Hmm. <laughs> Is it already worth to you, cause? Hmm. I'm not so sure about it. 
I guess it's good, but... Hmm... I guess, yes. Missed those turn, eh? Where you have been. I think starter decks tournaments or also tournaments with um, pretty pretty small card pool like Velcor or something like that is really a cool one we are missing now. Grace Taka, welcome back. Seems like seal type ended after his, this last event. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. They should do a monthly event. I guess they just take a break and they will do an event again. Probably. Blade of Sticks. Oh. Ouch. Hmm, we are down to 14 already. And he's getting Gleam. We're going to lose that one too, guys. could put this guy on top of his deck, but Mary Cadmos will just die to Blade of Sticks and the 1-1. One, one. We could play Inquisitor Informant, then he is going to die to the blade, and then we could heal. And we eat 5 damage. We could go for Tidal Prayer and hope for Sanjur. You're trying to survive to 7. Yeah, I know, I know. Or actually to six. We, we could... We could try this one here. And with Tidal Prayer we can draw... Um, Lysander's Mercy. I was talking to GU Stakes about doing some uh, pay-to-play tournaments. Maybe. Oh, that would be cool. Especially when you can when you can pay with gods, I think it would be awesome, because all people can just farm those to to get into the tournament. Yeah, that would be really cool. So, yeah, so many possibilities. I guess we are dead, but we'll see. Ooh, not too bad. Let's play Tidal Prayer, though. Yeah, Lysander's Mercy, that's what we want. Pretty cool, I guess. Maybe we can still do it. Come on, throw your whole hand at this board. My mercy is waiting for you. Oh no, it's not my mercy, it's Lysander's mercy. Hmm. Hmm. If you can do, do if you can don't play mercy next turn, yeah, it would be good to hold the pip for sure. But we gotta see, if I give this one order, he can do 7, 8 damage, so we could survive with one life, with one health. No, we cannot, he got Smash Buckler here, he can do it, can finish us. 4, 7, 8, 9, so even if we heal, so we need Mercy. Yeah, there's no other way. It's a pity, it would have been great not to play it yet, but we gotta do it. <clears throat> I 
Enduring Shield. Okay, that's not too bad. This guy cannot do damage now. I think that's alright. Inescapable duty. Round servant. Okay. Hey, this looks not too bad. Cunning challenger. Oh, oh. Which rank you at? We are still at mythic, but we are slow. We are low to, to fall down. Close to fall down, I mean. But yeah. It's an unusual card to see, Bronze Servant, that's right. He took Valka, Demo can't work now. Yeah, so if we are not at 7 anyway, and we are going to need Hortak to finish off Cunning Challenger. My choices defy me. Fuck. We should have taken Mary Catmos last turn with inescapable duty, I guess. We are dead. Killing? Suicide 2 3. Suicide 2 3? What do you mean? Take it back with inescapable duty. Ah, oh yeah, you're. That is a good idea, man. And thank you so much for following. Guys, we just reached our follower goal. You know what that means? We're going to give away after that game the Crystal Rain in Shadow. So, if you still want to join the giveaway, type exclamation mark enter or exclamation mark ticket in the in the chat. Thank you so much for following and thank you so much for your help. I wouldn't have seen that in his capable duty trick. And he's even trading. Interesting. We're left with one life and he cannot take the Swashbuckler yet. He's at 14. This is so close though. They are both hidden. So he got Valka's discovery in his hand. We definitely need Hortak, I guess. And we need to give him Blitz and the other two's frontline. But I guess it's game over anyway, isn't it? We'll see though. Let's try it. We need to get Swashbuckler for sure. Um... Let's see. But I guess we are dead. Mm, both got twin strike now, so... <laughs> he can just trade them off and go for face then and we are dead. We tried our best though. Why are you dead? Still one alive? You think so? When he bumps into those... He, I'm going to heal for 
6. Then we are at 7. And then he can just attack with both my face for 8. Right? They got both twin strike. He can't? Well, why not? Ah, 3 4, you, uh, four 3, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Zondis, welcome back. Okay, then we we might be safe here, huh? I guess Smash Buckler will be good on him. Your opponent is nowhere to be found. He can just use the relic, isn't it? Hmm. He disconnected. What the fuck? Yeah, he could use relic. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you didn't attack face with 2-3. I see, I see. Hawtuck winner of games. Ease. I see. Oh, hmm. I guess I really, I really need to focus much more on those games. <laughs> He definitely has lethal, but you got lucky. He has problem. Seems so. So. I guess the time is running up now. We can also do, in the meantime, the giveaway, guys. Bugs Unchained, famous for disconnecting too. Why aren't they banned? I don't know. I don't know. So, it seems like he's going to be dead anyway, so we can just do the giveaway, because we've reached the giveaway goal for today. Thank you so much for following, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Let's do that giveaway. I'm going to show that on this screen, I guess. Is it the right screen? No. This is the right screen. I don't think so. Even if he gave protected to the 4-5, he will still heal for 6. Yeah, okay. Disconnecting every lost match. Yeah, that's not nice. He did not have lethal on board, so probably nothing to finish in hand, I see. So, GG, I guess. GG. Let's do the little giveaway here. I wish good luck to everyone. And, yeah. Let's just do it. Lion. Good to see you, man. I wish game would have a report system to report players who are acting troll and wasting time. Yeah, that would be good. Especially for disconnecting on loss, that's really a pain. Enrage is lethal if he heals for six. Mm -hmm. So guys, I hope you are ready. Good luck to everyone. Let's close the giveaway and draw a winner. Stefanus has won a Crystal Rain in Shadow. So, I guess I already have his wallet. Um, let's go to the next game and let's set up another giveaway for the next 10 followers. So, what is going to be your next giveaway, though? Um, next giveaway is going to be Vanya Lion in Shadow. Our next opponent is Magic. Okay, card draw Magic. Hmm, let's take the heal. 
And I guess we're going to shuffle Lips are Sealed in and Aiko. Yuko's twice is overkill. One, it will be okay when he plays all his one drops. But twice is too much, I guess, for, for a matchup like this. So... Vanya Lion in Shadow. First ticket is free, we send confirmation, and everyone else stays the same. Let's create that giveaway. And um, I guess we are going to start with nothing here. We keep just the pip. Then we set a new goal. Um, at... 1080. Let's go. Mm, I guess we just drop Pyromite Warden here. Hmm. Oh, great to see you entering already the giveaway, guys. And we're going to need a new picture here. Vanya Lion, where are you? Here. Here we go. So he got a Pyromite Warden too. Hmm. I wish we could finish the Shadow Scryer without playing Yukos. I guess Yukos is harming us too. Hmm. Yeah, but Constantine would be at 7 HP because he healed for 6 and he had 1 HP. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I guess I bump into him and heal our guy. He'll finish him anyway, I guess. MS Lab C, welcome back. And good to see you grabbing 10 tickets right away. Wow. Impressive that you have enough beards for that. You must be watching quite a lot. Thank you so much for watching, man. Protected into leech. Leech won't heal. Ah, yeah, bully. Wow, this Ico is so sweet here. I wish I could heal my Pyramid Warden, but... This, knowledge is forbidden. this is just too good not to do it. Uh, I guess you have to use exclamation mark points. I have to adjust the a little bit the um, commands that it also works with with exclamation mark beards. At the moment, yeah, it's exclamation mark points. Uh, I just don't know the relic gives protected to who has or also CBA to check it. What is CBA? Hmm. I guess we play just two cores here, huh? He's not playing a Randian, but I guess Dearly Departed would be wasted, huh? All in on the Svania Lion. Nice. <laughs> I 
It's a decent nature card for sure. We could pip into an escapable duty, actually. I'm not sure about it. I have no clue what to do here. Let's just do it. One big Pyramide Warden and play it? Yeah, that would have been also good, I guess. Might be actually better. To keep the pip. Bro, how 8% win rate possible? I mean, some pools are just shit. 80%, okay. You mean in, in sealed? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe a combination a combination of extreme luck and extreme skill. We could play our big ass pyramide warden, maybe. And Senju? Hmm. Or Pyramid Warden and Ico actually. He'll have a hard time remove her, I guess. He could ping for sure. Then he needs to use Worm Breath or some bigger removal. Starshot Bolt he could have too. Street Conjurer. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. Definitely. Holy crap. Card draw magic, they are so dangerous. Yeah, so we can finish her. Form of power and she's dead. Yeah, damn it. That was good. Good move. Good move. MS Lab C has 88 win rate over 104 games on sealed. It's absurd. Yeah, that's really impressive, man. He's getting another Pyramid Warden back. That's really crazy. Duty calls. Next turn, Lysander's Mercy, I guess, huh? Ancient texts. Okay, he can remove him pretty easily. Ouch. He might even get the combat medic if he wants to. Or the lambasting wand. He's getting the combat medic, that's good. Hoppelt frisch geduscht und nackig durch den chat. Ooh, das gefällt mir. Willkommen zurück, Doro. Oha, but we got a Lissander's Mercy. What next? The God of Light, as dim as always. It's not like 
I'm this consistent every week, but yeah, it's been a good run. Okay, okay. Ow. Damn it. Ooh, what a great top deck. Let's go. Mm-hmm, another spell boost one. Shit, form of power. Ouch. And Lambusting Wand. Uh-oh. He is soon getting into lethal area. Hmm. Gain 3-3, three, three, God Blitz, increase the mana cost of spells in your opponent's hand. At this point... Hmm... Hard to say. Increase, you think? I stand ready. Mm. I guess you are probably right, bully. Mm. Oh, we are going to die now anyway, huh? Heal, increase. Oh. Firm breath? Fuck. Previet Maddox. It is time. Oh ha. Uh. Guess we gotta heal, huh? I don't know. Gidye Maya Kurica. Kurica, um. Kurica, ya. Wait. Give me a second. We gotta. Hmm. Unbound flames, okay, that's good. I can do no more. Okay. Um Ja, Sol, Kurica, Ra, Na, Rabot, Na, Rabot, hier. Oh. That's... Heal, GB, and Senjo. Panya? So he just needs to top deck a strong spell and we are dead. Um. Everything you do is 
so obvious. Boom, brat. Okay. We tried. We tried. So, we can rank this over. So... Let's do the last two games with our Amazons. Um, a gdje tuj rabota ješ, jesli na secret? Njet. Um... Ja rabota ju f jurmje. Jurmje. Never heard that uh, word before. I guess we go with create or opponent play Suvo. Um, I guess we could keep actually Swordbreaker Sage. He's playing Blade of Sticks twice and he's also playing Sharpen. So... Firmier? Mm, yeah. Um. Yurma. Um, like, I'm not sure if this is a. Uh, if this is right, I'm just using Google. Hmm. Warmonger Smith. Okay, so he can finish my canopy sniper. Too bad. Of yet uh what da yeah watching Hara Shaw uh Trapsterino Welcome back good to see you man So he's trading my 2-2 two -two off. And what else? Next turn we can probably get Nightleaf Trapper. This is going to be good. I think we trade her off, huh? This guy gets the buff. I wish the other one would have gotten the buff though. I guess we go white, huh? I tried GU versus, but it's not working. It won't open up during matches. What am I doing wrong? Do you have already the new version of GU versus?
there is a new version so and that is for me it's working fine i just have it open all the time and uh in settings i have also selected auto open so it is also always when a match starts it's opening my opponent's deck page do you do you have already the newest version I guess we're going to grab the hoplite. Yes, auto open and orange black color. Strange. Maybe you can ask Bird. Um, if there are any issues, you can also report on GitHub here. Maybe, maybe, um, Bird can help. Guess we trade him off. And him. Primal Guidance. I'm gonna get into it later that day. Yeah, I hope. I hope he can help you. Maybe I shouldn't have traded like that. Maybe I just should have left Oddy around since then the Nightleaf Trapper would have destroyed his hook. So, like that, he could now trade the Swordbreaker Sage off. No, oh, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. That's alright. Raging Giant! Here we go! I tried first on casual games. It worked fine. So I went into ranked. Then it didn't work. Okay. That's strange. Hmm. I have no clue, man. For me, it was... Always working so far. Incoming raid though, huh? But I guess it's GG anyway, huh? We just need to hit the face once. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, you got also a lot of beards today. 226. By the way, guys, we're going to play now the last game in ranked mode. Would you like to see me play on some... Uh, some Gods Unchained? Because we are so many people at the moment, I might ask you. Would you like to see more Gods Unchained before we switch to Baldur's Gate? I have plenty of time today, so we can do both. I got still an open sealed round we could play. GFA is playing Anubians. Mm -hmm. Can you send a control version of Atlanteans? I need to try it. Well, I, I don't have a control version of Atlanteans. Pachemu Tui Lubish Stat. Tinskuyu Musiku. Mm. I have sent you a version. Ah, you have sent me a version. Oh, now I understand. Okay. I guess we want to keep Swordbreaker Sage. Gotta shuffle a river jumper in, I guess. Fate Hornblade 2. 
Mm, I'm not sure about our hand. I guess we start with the one drop. Um, um Satani Kuyu? <laughs> Nyet, Nyet Satanitsku you rock i metal musiku ja slušaju lubiu ja lubiu slušaju rock. It's good. Haroshu you rock musiku. Another Pyramide Warden. Hmm. Ah, uh, how do we do it? Anyen! Thank you so much for following! Welcome on board! And nice to meet you! I don't know, I don't know. I guess I'll just play Swap Breaker Sage and Pass. Thank you so much for following, I highly appreciate your support. If you need a Vanir Lion card in Shadow, you can type exclamation mark enter or exclamation mark um, exclamation mark ticket to get a ticket for the Vanya Lion giveaway. We are going to do that as soon as we reach 1080 followers. Okay, so... I guess it was not a good idea, like we played it last turn. Hmm... Let's just play these two. We are going to keep our Rustmaker Sage. Agranti, welcome back. Good to see you. Sailor Mark, welcome back to you too. Ah, we can finish his Pyramide Warden next turn. And we are going to get a good Amazon back. For sure. Mm-hmm. Let's play Divya. In the deck I sent you, you can change Daskia with the 2-4 Atlant that deals 1 damage. Okay. Let's take a look after that game. Mm. Constantine, did you create the Atlantean magic list without Francesca? Or did you copy it from someone else? Yeah, I was creating that uh, by the advice of Zamacha. He was telling me if you play um, the um, crystal stuff. How was that called? Crystal techniques. And you use also Tinker Tinker and all Boost Walker and all the buff stuff and Atlant Watcher. Then he told me Francesca is not a good idea because you are mainly focusing on getting huge Atlanteans to the board rather than going wide. So I was I was putting that list together together with Zamacha basically. Let's play Phaeton Blade. We're going to finish Priestess first. And I guess we play Rustmaker Sage now too. Uh, do we? What about Diffusion or Devouring Golem? Wow, I have no clue about those cards. Actually. 
I don't even know what they do. I have to take a look. Right after the game, I want to um, test a deck uh, Trapsorino just sent me. An Atlantean deck, and we can take a look at those cards. JFA is playing Anubians. Yeah, he is. And we are getting Gleamweaver. Just before he's at 6 mana. Diffusion is an AoE clear. Okay. But Diffusion... Diffusion is no Atlantean, so it makes the deck more inconsistent than it already is, I guess, huh? It's in there. Okay. Interesting. Devouring Golem. Devouring Golem sounds like he's eating something. We are going to take a look at your list and we are going to take a look at Diffusion and Devouring Golem too. Might be cool. Archive meat is better. If you just add one copy, it's fine. You can pull a lot of spells with the gliders. Yeah, that's right. Let's get our Braxos. Trade him off. We play Gleam. And let's get rid of Priestess and Raving Necromancer. Archimedes is better. Hmm. Privyet and hello. Good luck. I placed 10th yet in the event with 13 wins out of 18 games. Amazon Power. Oh yeah, Exo. Good job. 13 wins with Amazons in Weekend Ranked is really good. You didn't even GP. Oh. BM. Oh, just bad play. So we are ending today with a score of 11 wins and 9 losses. If you consider last day too. It's not good, but it's okay. So I guess we are 5-5 today? Yeah. 5-5 five, five and more fragments than yesterday because last two games were Amazons. Okay guys, let's take a look at... Trapsterino's Atlantean list. Mm. Devouring Golem eats a random Atlant to, grain, to gain 2-2 two, two each turn. If it snowballs like Avalanche Watcher, the issue is uh, it's bad if you have big watchers on the board. Otherwise, with Undertow giving it protected... You create a big creature that is very hard to remove. Okay, I guess it depends a lot on how expansive it is. Let's take a look at the deck builder and import Trapsterinos. Control Atlants. So we got Avalanche Watcher and Tinker Tinker, Undertow, Portable Fortress, Time Bomb, Wind Up Roller, Face Touched Golem, Sampler Archive, Undertow Rover, Atlant Glider, Boost Walker, Crystal Techniques, Ico, Enduring Archive, Francesca, Saskia, Archimedes, Mirror, Spiral Golem, and Hortax. So we're going to take a look at Devouring Golem. Oh, he's five mana. Not Undertow, the other one that gives protected. There's another one that gives protected? There are two Atlanteans that give protected? I didn't know. I just know Undertow Rover. Yeah. So Devouring Golem got... Twin Strike. At the start of your turn, 
This creature destroys a random other friendly Atlantean to get 3-3. Saskia change for the 2-4-1 damage guy. We can do that. Um, Devouring Golem. I'm not really a fan of the Devouring Golem. You can put Devouring Golem for Francesca. Yeah, that might be an option. Uh, but I would just play him once. I think Francesca is probably not a good idea in this deck. Mm. Spiral Golem is interesting. He's so huge. And let's take a look at the, the other card. How was it called? What we want to take a look at? It was Spell, right? I forgot the name already again. Where has it been? Mm, diffusion. Thank you. Thank you. Diffusion. Deal a friendly Atlantean strength as damage. Split randomly among all enemy creatures. Okay, this can be crazy if you have something like Spiral Golem on the board. But I guess it's not reliable enough. Except maybe if we would get rid of crystal techniques. But to have more spells than four in the deck is, is bad, I guess. Hmm. Maybe we could actually get rid of Crystal Techniques for two Diffusions, but on the other hand, Diffusion is a dead card when, when we have no Atlantean on the board. So I'm not quite sure about it. Hmm. Cut the mirror. When you only have striker pulling diffusion, it's bad. Yeah. Exactly. Do you think I should cut the mirror? In favor for what? Maybe another spiral golem? Not ray mirror is key. I guess we just try it like that. It's just an experiment. Why not? If you want to play the fusion in game, by the way, sorry. Ah, I see. Okay. Mirror is good for aggro. You think so? I think mirror could be too, too slow for aggro actually, because he's six mana. You have to survive pretty long for that. Salty more. Sounds like Baltimore, just with more salt. He's playing Zoolite. Let's see. Just try it. Yeah, I think 100% of my games with Atlanteans go to 6 plus mana. Okay. I guess we shuffle Crystal Techniques in and Spiral Golem. Tinker for sure too. I guess boost walker. I know failure. I will not fail again. Godspeed. Hmm. Let's see how many ways. And here I'm already not sure. I guess we have to fight for the board. Okay, this is okay. Yeah, we are lucky that it wasn't Crystal Techniques. Um. 
He's going for face, all right. Oh, another one. Ritual Rot. Ah, oh, Ritual Rot is a huge pain. This looks promising. Hmm. Guess we could we could ping his protection and play Undertow Rover. He's going to trade one of his guys and his Ritual Rot into him. Hmm. You think Golem actually? You think Golem? Why Golem? Big body. Not too much bigger than Rover. But Rover would give him also protected. Like this he can clear the board. With Rover he couldn't clear, I guess. So I'm not quite sure. Rover was better in this case. Hmm, maybe. Avalanche Watcher. Hmm. If we go for Enduring Archive, he will just finish it. Ping and pass? Yeah? You think so? I don't think so. It's more control, not aggro. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I feel uncomfortable. I feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, we could play Archive for sure. I guess now he's going to be too fast. Oh, he's taking it slow, okay. That's alright. Atlant Glider... That's a weird matchup anyways, do you think so? Hmm. For this control deck? Hmm. Archive? Why now? Why should we play Archive now? Instead of last turn. Hmm. Yeah, but last turn you would have wanted to clear that too. Hmm, okay. Radiant Dawn, holy fuck. Let's play Striker and Watcher and Pip for... for Tinker Tinker. If we get it. Striker, if you get Tinker, play Watcher. Yeah, I think so too. But we don't. Shit. Gotta copy it. But I'm afraid that's not helping much. We're going to die soon. It's just too easy for him to finish those.
Hmm. Don't worry, man. Now that's how you drink coffee. Marik, welcome back. Good to see you. But it's just water. Coffee is empty right now, but I'm going to get soon one. We are dead. Mm. I'm not sure about it. I think it's dangerous. Ah, don't worry, Trapsterino, it's alright. Um, I think it's quite dangerous because with Ico and Hortag and Crystal Techniques twice and Tinker Tinker twice, we cannot rely on, on our effects that really need Atlanteans on top of our deck. But in general, I like the the idea of a more controlish at Atlantean deck. Mm. I'm just not sure if it's worth it if you can play it more efficiently in a faster way. Mm, hard to say. It depends on the meta if this is going to be a thing, I guess. That only one that relies on Atlanteans are Archive and Glider. Hmm, yeah. Okay, I see. I'm not quite sure. I gotta say, I gotta think about that. Hmm. Maybe, maybe when I'll, you won, change these as, I can change these as well. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm not, I'm really not sure how I would approach that. Mm. You know, the big benefit of Atlanteans, I guess, when you play an Atlanteans deck is... The two mana slot with those guys that have um, those abilities with the Atlanteans on top of your deck. It's like a free draw with Analyst and free two damage with the Raptor while both have decent bodies. I think these cards are carrying Atlanteans early game. And I think we need them. Mm. It's too bad we have no Atlantean relic removal. That would be so cool if there was an Atlantean that would have been a relic removal. Maybe without crystal techniques. Yeah, I guess. Let's let's start from the beginning. We got Avalanche Watcher and Tinker, and I guess this is a combo we want in this deck, definitely. Undertow Striker. I think Portable Fortress is a card we won't need. But then you don't need Glider, yeah. Time Bomb we are going to play for sure. I guess Wind Up Brawler is too beneficial for our opponent. We want to get rid of him. We want to play Excavations Analyst instead. Dwarf Atlant, I'm not sure. Maybe we will play that once. Face touched golem is awesome. I think one sampler archive is completely all right. Undertow rover is awesome. Atlant glider, yeah, we can get rid of. Let's keep boost walker for sure. That is an awesome card. Crystal techniques we can drop. Mm. And I guess we might drop Ico too. I'm not quite sure. Devour Enduring Archive we are going to keep. 
Devouring Golem is really hit and miss, I guess. Instead of Devouring Golem, I would play something else at 5 mana. Archimedes Mirror and Spiral Golem I would keep. Maybe even adding a second Spiral Golem. We need something strong at 5 mana. Mm, the key was to put Iko and Tartak in. Okay. Okay. Mm, we got now 25 cards. We are lacking at 5 mana. Hmm. We could go mana staffed construct, huh? Unshackled archive. Hmm. Hmm. I guess mana stuffed construct there might be better. And we still got three card slots left. Hmm. Maybe we want a second spiral golem. Hmm. Hmm. And maybe a bus watcher. Invalid deck? What? Why? Oh, we're still watch uh, needing one more. So we have a relic removal, we have a void removal. Is there any other tech card we could need? Hmm. Two Abyss, do you think? Then we have seven cards at the four mana slot. Isn't that a little bit overkill? But we could try, yeah. It was nine before, okay, yeah, that's a good argument. I guess nine is really too much. So, Strength, Steel, Deception. Let's see. Mm, let's shuffle the mirror in and construct. And I guess Boost Walker. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint me. I feel quite comfortable with that hand. Hmm. Oh, Tinker on the top of our deck. But that means we can Tinker Avalanche Watcher early on. Candy Chain. Wow, this is disgusting.
Or Aiko or Hawthuck. Oh yeah, that's right. Aiko would have been good, actually. Let's put him under some pressure. Um, what exactly do you think you're doing? Hunting trap. Ouch. John Dave, hello. Good to see you. How are you doing? This looks promising. Spiral golem. One trap gone, that's good. We could also do it like this to draw Ico next turn. Huh. But I guess he would have he will have used candy uh chains enough, I guess. So Ico won't matter too much. Ah, mirror. Okay, yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, we should have shuffled in mirror too. Yeah. He'll probably just steal it with um, bound by her will. Yeah, like I thought, candy chain is already used up. But Spiral Golem will come in clutch on empty board. Yeah, yeah. Takes a random enemy creature, so he's not going phase. But that means we can just attack face with him, right? Hmm. Okay, in this case it might be even better to... But no target, you can attack face, I see. But I think maybe face touched might be better here to... Secure our archive. Boost walk on on spiral. This would be crazy. Now Francesca would be nice, yeah. So he got boost walker and face touched golem now. But I think he's too slow. Savage. Hmm, Ember Oni. Damn it.
So we definitely gotta finish him. Why not Watcher? Because... Um, he can deal pretty good with Watcher, I guess, with fighting fair and stuff like that. That's why I wanna grab the Ward guy here. And we are soon lethal anyway, I guess. This looks promising. Hopefully he plays Candy Chain. That would be cool. So... He's also having a boost walker. But if he do now 7, 8, 9, 10 damage to his face... Watcher is good. Yeah, I think so too. We might trade him off, actually. Let's go get him. I'm right behind you. Fighting fair, just as I thought. But I guess we are fine. The possibilities are endless. Lucky. Ah, <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. Candy chains are spells. Fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. That's kind of funny to draw a candy chain with Undertow Striker. GG. Not too bad, I guess. So I think this deck is definitely, definitely playable. Wasn't that intentional? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Can you send the deck? Yeah, sure. That's the code. And um, if you might want to take a look at the price and so on for maybe other guys that want to try it. Here's the link to the GU deck uh, page. So guys. I'm going to take quickly a break to get a cup of coffee, and then I guess we're going to play some sealed. Um, yeah, because I have that round still open, and we are, got, we are at the moment 45 people watching. That's so cool, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's so awesome. I highly appreciate that, and I think most of you are here because of Gods Unchained, so I guess we, we play a little more. So... Guys, I hope you stick with me. I'll be right back with Sealed and a hot cup of coffee and a little bit soup. It might take five minutes, but yeah, I hope you stick with me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be right back. No people here, just lurkers. <laughs> yeah, I guess so too.